going to do a round of 64 with the best games of all times. Okay, so they even got little decent pictures. So, Super Mario Galaxy 1. I'm going to have a very big bias on, like, them Nintendo games because I've never really, i never been a Nintendo person. i never really had, unless you're talking about, like, Pokemon, i never really played them. So, that's easily GTA. Easily GTA. Halo 3 or Far Cry 3. Didn't really play either one of these. I played a little bit of Halo 3, and I never really played Far Cry like that, so that's easily Halo 3 for me, I guess, because I never played it. Persona 5. I've never really played none of the Personas. I've actually watched The Last of Us, so I'm a, uh, I, I guess I didn't watch the full thing. I watched like a couple things of it. And people always say it's really good, so I'll go there. I haven't played either one of these. I played one of the older Devil May Cry, but I didn't play the fifth one. I haven't played any of the recent ones. That's tough. That's tough. Because Super Mario actually might be... I think, I think I've played that shit before. I'm going to go Super Mario. I think I've played this before and I liked it. Sekiro or Resident Evil? That's pretty easy. A Souls game versus a Resident Evil. Elden Ring is probably going to end up winning. I ain't going to lie. That's a, that's, a, that's a W game. Portal 2 or Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2? If this was Black Ops, it would be easy. But I'm going to go Portal 2. Halo 2 or Legend of Zelda? Again, I didn't really play any Halos. I'm going to go Zelda. I played Halo, but I didn't really play them. Zelda or Half-Life? I'm going to go Half-Life. Journey or G... Come on, bro. What are we doing? What are we doing? Me the Metal Gear Solid is an underrated series. Or Arkham Knight, though. Or, Ar or Arkham Knight, though. I'm going to have to go Arkham Knight. Assassin's Creed 2 over Last of Us. One of the most fun games ever. Hollow Knight or Doom Eternal. People think Doom Eternal is the, one of the best games of all time. I've never played it. I never even heard people like hype it up. But I know it's like some commentary channels be using it as background and stuff like that. People will be talking about like the most wholesome things and then have Doom Eternal as like the background in the... For the video, that would be low-key funny. But I'm going to go, I guess I'll go Doom Eternal. I've seen more of that. Again, never was a big Nintendo guy. I'm going to go Mass Effect. Colossus, I played this growing up. I had the demo for this, played it. Man, I ain't going to lie. That's an OG for real. That's crazy. Final Fantasy Seven. I played Final Fantasy. I've never touched Bloodborne, but so I'll go Final Fantasy. A lot of these games I haven't really played, though. Cyberpunk, why do they have a skull emoji for, for Cyberpunk? Cyberpunk is not even a bad game. It just had a lot of bugs. But Max Payne is where I'm going to go. Rockstar really had that joint. I'm going to go Walking Dead. Uncharted 4, God of War. I haven't really played Uncharted series like that. That's kind of easy for me. Fallout or Celeste. Don't even know what Celeste is. I'm going to go Fallout. Outer Wilds. Is Outer Wilds actually a really good game? That's a um that's a Game Pass game. Is that actually a good game? I might have to, I might have to play that. Hades or Alien Isolation. I heard Hades is a good game, but I never seen it. I never played it. I only seen like a, a little small little minute footage of it, like a trailer. I didn't know it was like a top game of all time. This is like an alien like Predator Alien game. Skyrim or Mel Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, Skyrim. I'm sorry. I've never been a big Skyrim, but Metal Gear Metal Gear Solid 5. I think that was 5. That's one of the best games all time. I'm going to go GTA 4. The Witcher 3 or Left 4 Dead. I'm going to go The Witcher. That's pretty simple for me. Minecraft or Marvel Spider-Man. Now, if I play Spider-Man more, I have to play it to really get a full thing. I played a little bit of it. I ain't really played it for real, though. So I'm going to go I'm going to go Minecraft. Red Dead Redemption or Super Mario Galaxy 2. That's pretty simple. I don't know why I took that long on that. Dark Souls 3 or Overwatch. I'm going to go Dark Souls just because it's a Souls game. It's facts. Nier or Tony Hawk Pro Skater. I'm going to go Tony Hawk. Hey, that's a cultured pick right there. OG God of War. Why I get the same pick of God of War? They should have just had one God of War. Bioshock Infinite, I'm going to go God of War. I haven't really played Bioshock. The God of War series is just a classic. Battlefield 1? No, it's only here for the best game of all time. I would have I would have said Battlefield 3 or Battlefield 1. Battlefield 1 is good. 
I never played Undertale, so that's a very easy choice for me. Smash Bros. or Red Dead Redemption 1? I think Red Dead Redemption 2 can be the one, the showcase for the Red Dead series. God of War or Final Fantasy? I played God of War more, and I have I think that's the better game. Mass Effect. I'm going to go Mass Effect. Dark Souls or Portal? I'm going to go Portal 2 easily. I've never played Dark Souls 3. GTA San Andreas or Red Dead? I'm going to go Red Dead. Because we still have, like, GTA 5 and stuff like that. Assassin's Creed 2 or Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. Now, that's interesting. That's interesting. That's actually interesting. I think I would be more likely to play Assassin's Creed 2, though, if I was to play, like, a game back. Minecraft. I would probably play Minecraft before I played Legend of Zelda. That's Elden Ring. I never really was a Nintendo guy, so it's probably better to get these games out the way that I really didn't play if they're not like a Zelda, like a, a Smash Bros, like a Pokemon, I'm probably not going to have too much experience. That's Walking Dead for me. That's Shadow uh, Colossus for me. Bioshock Shock or GTA 5, 4. I play GTA 4, so I'm going to have to go GTA 4. I'm going to have to go Batman Arkham City. Halo 3 or God of War. I'm going to have to go God of War. OG God of War 2. Murder Girl Solid 5 is, bro, that's going down there win. GTA 5 or Sekiro. Now, that's a crazy one because Sekiro is good, but I'm going to have to go GTA 5. Just had way more experience playing GTA 5. Half-Life, I'm going to go Half-Life. Doom Eternal or Smash Bros. I'm going to go Smash Bros. Arkham City or Half-Life. I have, I play Arkham City more in the series more, so I'm going to just go Arkham City for that. Walking Dead or Colossus. This is where that has to go, I guess. Smash Bros. or Minecraft. Ah, oh, man. This is like... I'm not really basing it off this one game. I'm basing it like off of like the series of Smash Bros. Growing up, I played Smash Bros. But I feel like I play Minecraft much more because I don't play Nintendo no more. So I guess I have to go Minecraft. Red Dead Redemption 2 or Portal. Man, I never really played the Red Dead. Like I really like the Red Dead Online. I played a little bit of the story, but I never really finished the story. I've never been, like, a a deep, deep story person unless I really was intrigued to it. Like, certain games, like GTA series, I played pretty much all the stories. But I'm going to have to go Portal, probably. Elden Ring. Oh, my God. This was going to be my probably my top two if it wasn't going to be GTA 5 in there. Elden Ring or Metal Gear Solid 5. It's going to be a lot of reasons to be biased, but I got to go Elden Ring, bro. Elden Ring is just one of the best games I ever touched. And then we got GTA 4 versus GTA 5. GTA 5 just did too much for gaming to not say GTA 5 is a better game. It just did too much. God of War, I'm going to go God of War. God of War or Mass Effect, I'm going to go God of War again. God of War or Walking Dead. We have another God of War. Not going to be losing too much. Minecraft or GTA 5. I'm about to go GTA 5. God of War or Arkham City. And this is the OG God of War. Gotta go God of War, though. Portal 2 or Elden Ring. I'm about to go Elden Ring. A lot of recent vibes on the Elden Ring, but I gotta go there. OG God of War or Elden Ring. Uh, should I do it based off like the full God of War series where you got the God of Wars on the PSP, God of War 2, God of War 3, the new God of War? Ah, uh, man, but I don't know if I ever played a non-sports game as much as I played Elden Ring. And it's like, it's not like it's a multiplayer game, like a COD, like a, what's it called? I literally just on there, like I'm not really a campaign guy, but Elden Ring had me hooked. It had me hooked. It's just a really... It's one of the most... I ain't never seen a game develop that much. Like, it's so detailed. So, I'm going to have to go Elden Ring. I'm going to have to go Elden Ring. GTA 5 or Walking Dead? Nah, that's crazy. I ain't going to lie. That's kind of crazy. I'm probably going to say Walking Dead, bro. I'm probably going to say, bro, GTA 5 did a lot. But Walking Dead did a lot for narrative-based games. Walking Dead did a lot for narrative-based games, I feel like. So, they both did a lot for gaming. I feel like the narrative-based games are really, like, the most popular, the most consistent, good campaign games. 
and actually playable games. Um, whereas GTA 5 started a lot of stuff like the online and not really all good stuff, but it still was a really, 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 really high prime. And it was a very detailed game. And a lot of stuff that they did was just never done before. But at the same time, I had to go Walking Dead. Then we have Walking Dead or Elden Ring. I ain't gonna lie, I mess with Elden Ring heavy, bro, man. When Lee had to go, man, I don't know if Elden Ring did nothing like that to me. Elden Ring, I'm pretty much skipping on. I'm skipping all the stuff. It's like a completely different experience. I'm pretty much skipping all the cutscenes and stuff like that. It's too many of them joints. Walking Dead, I'm watching everything like it's a movie. So after that alone, I gotta go Elden Ring, and that's gonna be my best video game of all time. And that's damn near accurate. I ain't gonna lie, that's damn near accurate. Let's look at what the games actually be winning. Minecraft is one, Witcher two, three is GTA five, Red Dead Redemption two is four, Last of Us one is five. So I never played, I never played this. I played this a little bit, but I never finished it. Uh, okay, so whoever's voting Modern Warfare two is the best game of all time, and it's not the best COD all time. It's crazy. Okay, so I'm not crazy for having Elden Ring that high, but I might be crazy for having Walking Dead, I see, because I have still not seen Walking Dead. I have still not seen Walking Dead. Walking Dead wins. I might have gave Walking Dead is one win. Wow. Now, that's crazy. Who gets the least wins? Outer, Outer Wilds never wins. Battlefield 1 never wins. Max Payne never wins. Celeste never wins. I would have thought Celeste had the lowest. Bioshock Infinite really never wins. Hades never really wins. Hades is a new game, though. Um, Red Dead Redemption 1, I'm surprised, never wins. Metal Gear, Metal, Metal Gear Solid should have way higher win percentage and championship rate. Way higher. But all right. Nothing too crazy. 